Hey, good morning, guys. It's Glenn with Lessons for Landlords. Another day in the life of a landlord. Today's Sunday, uh, one, another day in the day of a pandemic. And um, I'm showing a property today because the tenant is moving out. And, you know, as landlords, we still must rent these properties to become, you know, so we, they don't stay vacant. And um, I'm passing properties. I have about three properties in this one development. So I used to be with my mentor and he would wave and I would be like, who are you waving to? He's like, to my properties. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna wave to this little property right here. This is the duplex, my first property. Hello, thank you for paying the mortgage. Okay, and now let's go down to the next property. <laughs> property number two, hello, how are you guys? <laughs> And let's say hi to the third property. Hello, property. Okay, so this is the property that we are actually showing today. And um, I want to kind of show you what makes this property unique. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Yes, that is a veteran's cemetery. Um, some people have passed this property and says, no way, I will never live next to the, a cemetery. Uh, it's not like a real cemetery. It's it's a veteran cemetery, and what I mean by that is that it has the flags. They take care of it. You know, all the stones are are, are the same. It just has meaning behind it. Um, like I said, I always take you know lemons and make lemonade from it. I always you know point out that listen, you know, it's very quiet. Uh, you're not going to be bothered by people, and um, some people, the people that end up living here, love love living next to the veteran cemetery um so you again you know you got to take what you have and, and and make it work it's a great property and i feel it's a great location and it's been a real winner for us so i'll take you guys in the property and i'll show you what it looks like uh and we'll go from there a day in the life of a landlord so this is a quick walk around of the property i mean it's on a corner lot uh, there's a lot of trees here, so the grass really never uh, grows that great, but you know, it is definitely a nice size property. Um, we bought this from a lady and we actually gutted the whole inside. Uh, you gotta love when the tenants add some of their own pizzazz to it. Um, you know, so this is the house. And then back here, is a two-car garage with a huge barn type connected to it and a shed another entrance uh, but with this we're gonna definitely need that oh crap fund eventually and take care of the roof um, and address this so this is the veteran cemetery and I just want to kind of show you what I was talking about I mean, it's different. It's not like a normal cemetery. It's just, just goes on and on and on, honoring all the great vets that served for us. So if you can live near this, then this property is for you.
Okay, so the day continues. I'm at the other property. Hello, property. Uh, here we're fixing a gutter issue and changing out some locks. A day in the life of a landlord. Okay, so it's Glenn and the day continues. I'm at the other property and um, the tenant was complaining about water getting into her basement. Sent me a video, I'll try to include it. And problem is that you have to unclog the gutters and uh, we'll take care of the situation. So it's about 20 minutes worth of work and it should fix the problem. A day in the life of a landlord. Okay, so I'm improvising. So we have a clogged gutter here and I cleaned it out, but some stuff got inside the gutter. So I'm using this. This is actually a, uh, to clog toilet uh, drains or sink drains. And I'm just, I just shoved the snake in there. And cleared it out. You always gotta be thinking outside the box. Okay, so what we did was we cleaned out the little section of gutters and then I did a little extension over here for the water, put some rocks down and that should prevent the water from getting to the basement. Just a little puddle, but we prevented it. Happy tenant. Okay, so the last task of this property is changing the locks on the front and back. And, uh, you know, we in the beginning, we put cheap locks on. We learned our lesson and they break. And now we're putting good locks that will last years. See you in a little bit. That's what we're using today. And I'm uh, going to swap them out. Okay, so I just finished changing the locks on the property behind me. Uh, it's, it's, I'm happy I did it because we put really crappy locks on a couple years ago. Uh, then we learned our lesson and we just buy nicer, better quality locks so we don't have to change them out all the time. So real quick story was this tenant, we raised the rent on her um, and we just signed a new three year lease. She's been with me for about six years and uh, we raised the rent and she became all pissy and all angry and started calling me and complaining about the little things. But niceness prevails. I was here, she's happy. You know, we took care of the situation and that's really what it's all about at the end of the day. You know, you, you, you pay a good rent, you get a good landlord and you get the problems fixed. So enjoy the day guys, stay safe. Again, if you like the video, subscribe, like, comment below, it really would help. Um, you know, those likes and those subscribes really can uh, help me uh, blow up the channel. And um, that's it. A day in the life of a landlord. Enjoy it.